Taryn, what the frick is this? I need an explanation. What are you talking about? This means nothing to me. Can I get something precise to work with? A letter came from a debt collection agency demanding immediate payment of outstanding debts. It was addressed to you. Oh, that. This means you're in debt, doesn't it? When did this happen? I had no idea. I had some stuff going on. Sorry, babe, I meant to tell you, but I've just been so busy lately that it totally slipped my mind. Have you seen how much you owe? This is more than just having some stuff going on. The letter said you still owe over 30k. Well, to tell you the truth, yes. Yes, I do. $30,000? This is ridiculous, Darren. How are you going to get a hold of that much money? Or rather, how do you even owe that much in the first place? I went through a rough patch where my outgoings were a little higher than usual is all. I couldn't cover it with my salary, so I, um, well, you know the rest. Before I knew it, I was up to my ears. I can see that. Well, why did you need to borrow this much money? Like I said, I had some stuff going on. What stuff? How am I supposed to know if you don't tell me? A relationship should be built on trust, Aaron, and I suddenly feel like we don't have any whatsoever. Drinking parties with the boys from the office. Casinos, horse racing, you know, normal guy stuff. Are you a moron? You went into that much debt just to blow off some steam? Doesn't ending up in mountains of debt kind of defeat the object of blowing off steam in the first place? Chill, it's fine. They said I can pay it back in monthly installments. I'll pay it back some way or another. Don't worry, babe. That's not the point. We might both be working full time, but we still live on a tight budget. You never seem to be able to hold down a job for more than a few months at a time, which means your salary never goes up because you're never around long enough to get promoted. Watch yourself, Kara. Do you really want us to have this discussion? Do I need to remind you that you work a job for losers and high school dropouts? You barely bring home $800 a month, and you have the nerve to give me crap over my salary? I'm not giving you crap, Darren, and this isn't a competition. I'm just trying to make you see sense. We're both on low incomes, which is why we have to be careful with our spending. There's no telling how long it takes to pay off such a mammoth debt, even if we combine both our salaries. Wait a sec, really? Wow, so you went into debt without even considering the implications. Kara, won't you please help me? Help me get through this somehow. We can overcome anything when we work together, baby. Don't try and sweet talk me. I bet you only did this because you thought I'd be there to bail you out. There's nothing wrong with relying on your wife in times of need. Especially when you're so much older and wiser than me. There's relying on others, and then there's over-relying. You obviously don't know the difference. Sure, so I'm older than you. So what? You want me to change your diapers while I clean up the rest of your mess? Time to grow up, Darren. Calm down, baby. I know that if you put your mind to it, you can get me out of this debt. You'll have it paid off before you know it if you really try. Do you believe in yourself? Because I believe in you, babe. I believe in you a lot. I'm really sorry about the debt. Sure, it was wrong of me not to tell you, but but we are where we are and we can only do our best given the circumstances. Are you really sorry? Yep, like super duper sorry. Tell you what, I'll even get on my knees when I get home to prove it. After that, how about I cook you up some sorry supper? Will you believe me then? I swear on yours and mine, and the lives of everyone I hold dear, I'll never go into debt again. Hmph, <laughs> you're right. We are where we are, and no amount of complaining is going to change that. All we can do is work towards paying it off. Okay, I'll help you. But mark my words, this is the only time I forgive you. I'll put it down to a lapse in judgment on your part, and we'll say no more of it. Do not make me regret this. I almost feel like I'm being too soft on you. But I promise you, there will be no second chances. Thank you so much, Kara. You're the best wife on the planet. I'll do my best to help with the repayments, too. There's no doubt about it. 30k is going to take us a long time. I'll have to work a lot of extra hours to cover this. Huh? You can increase your working hours at will? There are always extra shifts available. I'll just pick them up during my free time. Wait, does that mean no days off? You're nuts! <laughs> what choice do I have? 
Anyway, you didn't think I'll be the only one making sacrifices. I want to see you working just as hard as I am to pay this off. Yeah, yeah, of course I will. I'm more desperate than anyone to see the back of it. I'm so grateful for this, Kara. Thanks a bunch. I won't just work my days off. I'll do overtime on the morning and nights of the days I already work too. I get double time for early mornings and nights, so it makes sense to cram in as many extra shifts as possible. Don't be surprised when the standard of the housework goes down, though. I can't be in two places at once. Housework? Say no more. I've got it covered. Great. I'm counting on you. We'll get this debt paid off within three years at the latest, no matter what. You think it's doable? It won't be easy, but we have to try. If we don't keep up this decent pace with the repayments, the interest will get out of hand and we'll barely make any progress. The earlier we get paid off, the better, even if it means going through some hard times. You think really logically for a woman, babe. I can't tell you how reassuring it is to hear you say all this. Wait, what? For a woman? Ugh, whatever. The goal is to get every last cent paid off within three years. Obviously, this means we can't afford to waste any money on luxuries. For the next three years, it's nothing but the bare essentials. You got that? Luxuries? How exactly are we defining luxuries here? Beer and drinking parties are forbidden for a start. You need to stop going to the casino on your days off, too. Seriously? Obviously. Do I need to remind you that this is your debt, Darren? How about you start taking some responsibility for it? Fine. It's almost midnight. Do you plan on coming home soon? I'm about to leave, babe. Leave where? Where even are you at this time of night? I just went for a drink with some of the boys from the office. What? Why? Didn't I tell you drinking parties are forbidden? Why are you the only one who gets to cut loose? You think I don't want to go out to see my friends too? Jeez, babe, take a chill pill. I only had a couple of beers. Can't we pretend it didn't happen just this once? Todd from accounting is about to get married. It's his stag party tonight. Me and the boys got together to celebrate for him. What kind of party pal would it be if I didn't show to my buddy's stag party? I'd never hear the end of it at work if I didn't show up. Good grief. I suppose it can't be help if your friend's getting married. But Jesus, Darren, would it really hurt you so much to tell me before you did these things? I feel like there's no communication in this relationship. It feels like being betrayed every time. If you have a good reason to be out drinking, then tell me beforehand. I get it. Sometimes these things are unavoidable. It's the radio silence that hurts me. Jeez, babe, give me a break, would you? I'm sorry, okay? Did you pay on the credit card? I'm gonna have to make sure we have enough to cover it in the withdrawal account next month if you did. Yeah, I got everything on the card. I've been buying everyone's drinks all night, so don't be surprised if it's more than just a couple beers worth. Excuse me? Think about it. How can I let my work buddies pay for their own drinks at a time like this? Sure, maybe I understand if you splashed down the groom with it being his big day and all. But why in God's name would you pay for everybody? Most of the guys who came out tonight are a lot younger than me. How the heck was I supposed to let them buy their own drinks? I have a reputation to protect, babe. You have got to be kidding me. How much did it come to? Mm, I'm not sure. Maybe 300? Oh my god, what are you doing? I said I'm sorry. I swear I didn't expect it to come to that much. The place does not all-you-can-drink offer. I should have just gone with that. Sorry doesn't even begin to cover it. What the hell am I sacrificing my sleep schedule and free time to work like a dog for if you're going out getting wasted and blowing your money like it grows on trees? You're right, babe. I'm sorry. There's no excuse for what I did. It won't happen again. I promise. You say that, but you did the exact same thing last month. I did? Yes, you did. You went out with your work buddies last month and spent almost $150. The month before that, you bought a $200 jacket. You said you help out with the housework, but you never lift a finger. Clothes are necessary expenses. A $200 jacket is a necessary expense now, is it? Buy something cheap or secondhand for crying out loud. I've thought this for a while now, but I'm the only one making any efforts to save money whatsoever. You're literally not contributing at all. Why am I allowing myself to get wrapped up in this crap? 
Not only do you not show an ounce of gratitude, but you're actively working against me. This is your debt that I'm sacrificing my health to pay off here. Or did you forget that minor detail? Of course I didn't forget that, babe. Don't you think you're being unfair here? I'm helping to save money in my own way. But I feel like I'll lose my mind if I don't splash out and blow off some steam every now and then. The splashing out ends here, and that's final. You can carry on splashing out when we get the whole thing paid off and don't have the threat of exorbitant interest payments looming over us 24-7. In two more years, we can forget all about it. Two years? Jesus, that's a long time. If you won't cooperate, I'll stop helping you. I mean it. Is that what you want? Believe me, Darren, I'm not screwing around here. I'm ready to quit my second job. Just give me a reason and I'll do it in a heartbeat. Chill out. Point taken. I'll be more careful from now on. But seriously, would you get off my case? This just stresses me out and makes me want to drink more. Wait a sec. Did you start the menopause? Is that it? Your eggs are drying up on you, aren't they, babe? Do not screw me around, you jerk. What the hell has gotten into you? Chillax, you hothead. No need to take me seriously. I was just kidding. Why you gotta be so grumpy all the time? <laughs> Darren, we finally finished paying off your debt today. Really? That was way faster than I expected. Didn't you say it'd take like three years? We got it all paid off six months ahead of schedule. I don't think I ever worked as hard as during these past two and a half years. No kidding. We worked like our lives depended on it. We? You wasted money on necessary crap more than a few times. Whatever. It's all water on the bridge now. All that matters is that we did it. We should just be grateful it's over now and we can move on. You're right. On the subject of moving on, there was something I wanted to talk to you about. I thought it might be nice if we went on a vacation together, somewhere nice to celebrate. It's been so long, I feel like I forgot what relaxing even feels like. That's a coincidence. There was something I wanted to talk to you about too. Oh yeah? Go on, you go first. I want a divorce. What? Divorce? Yep, a divorce. A breakup, a judicial separation, a parting of the ways, a severance of relations. Get it yet? I know what divorce means, Darren, but why? Why would you spring this on me all of a sudden? I don't even... Are you really doing this now? We finally just finished paying off your debts. You're a little dense, huh? I'm doing this precisely because we finished paying off my debts, dummy. You served your purpose. It's time for you to disappear from my life now. Why would you... You still don't get it, do you? The only reason I kept you around was to pay off my debts. Outside of my personal ATM, what redeeming qualities do you have? You nag, you whine, you complain, you restrict my freedom. You're like my mom, except ten times worse. I can't wait to see the back of you. Is this a joke? Now I can finally be with my true love, the apple of my eye. Me and you are going to get a divorce, and I'm going to remarry her, my darling angel, my sugar dumpling. What are you talking about? You mean you found someone else? Are you being serious right now? Yep. She's a whole generation younger than you. Not only that, but she's a damn sight prettier, and has a body so hot you could cook dinner on it. I hate to tell you this, Kara. But your best years are behind you. She's been nagging me to leave my old hag of a wife for ages now, actually. It's not like I don't understand, but to tell you the truth, it was starting to bug me. Old hag? It's time to face reality. You're almost 40. That would be bad enough, but the fact that you constantly nag at me makes you completely irredeemable. My patience with you has reached this limit a long time ago. I wouldn't have to nag you if you had your shit together, Darren. You're a grown man, but you act like a teenager. You think I enjoy being on your case all the time? It makes me feel like crap, Darren. I hate the stress of it all. There you go with your freaking preaching again. You just don't know when to stop. How can I look at you as my wife when you act like my mom? You literally couldn't be any more unattractive if you tried. Is it any wonder I haven't been near you in years? Sorry, but I'm not into grandmas. You said you were into older women before we got married. Why are you springing this on me now? Sure, I liked a sensible, mature older woman back when I was my young self. But I'm no spring chicken anymore. And seeing your wrinkled face just reminds me of my own mortality. 
Yep, I need a younger model. <laughs> and when it comes to women, the younger the better. <laughs> All women get old eventually. Sure, sure. Sure, but you hardly make any money either. Not only is my new girl younger and hotter than you, but she also brings home $1,500 a month. You're a broke old woman, and I am so done with you. Do not screw me around, Darren. Do you have any idea how hard I worked to pay off your debt these last two and a half years? I was so food and sleep deprived through constantly working like a dog. And there were times when I even vomited blood and hallucinated. All while you were cheating on me with some younger woman. Yeah, yeah, I get it. You're such a super amazing hard worker and I should bow before you for everything you've done for me. Quit bragging about what a victim you are. <laughs> wow. You know... There was a time when I felt sorry for you because I thought you were just a good guy who'd fallen on hard times. But I couldn't have been more wrong. You're a vile, despicable piece of trash and I wish we never met. I'm actually grateful you want a divorce. The sooner you're out of my life, the better. I take it that means you'll sign the papers then? Don't go changing your mind later on. Of course I'll sign them. Where are they? I'm ready to sign them now, right this instant. Hurry up and bring me them. Um... How are we going to split our assets? Not that we have any money left. <laughs> I only want my personal belongings. You can have the apartment plus all the furniture and electronics. It's rented anyway. Thank God we don't have a house sale on our hands. Thanks, babe. You're a star. This means I don't have to mess around looking for a new place and can move my new girl in straight away. Okay, great. Hurry up and get the hell out. Make sure you throw out any unwanted crap before you go. I don't need to be dealing with your stuff. I don't need you to tell me that. Fantastic. And a discussion then. Oh, you said that there was something you wanted to talk about earlier. I take it you changed your mind? Divorce is a way of shifting priorities like that. <laughs> I have nothing more to say to you. I'm about to go file the divorce papers. Are you absolutely sure this is what you want? Obviously. <laughs> I don't need a broke old hag like you in my life. <laughs> Hurry up and hand them. Go, go, go. Got it. All right, I'm going. Woohoo! I'm finally gonna be free! As free as a bird! Get your things together and get out of this house pronto! If you don't hurry up, I'll throw all your stuff out on the street and embarrass you in front of the neighbors. <laughs> Divorce papers filed. That felt great. Thanks, I'll be out of your hair before you know it. Huh? Why do you seem so happy? Where did this come from? I mean, thanks for divorcing me. If we stay together, you might have ended up getting your grubby hands on the money I worked so hard to save, to think you even did everything for me. You told me about the affair. You even handled the divorce on your end. I couldn't have been more relieved when I found out. You barely make enough money to cover our food bill. The fact that you think you're going to be able to cope without me blows my mind. You're not my problem now, though. Disappear from my life and never come back. You didn't give me a chance to tell you, but I got a new job, and I'm set to get a huge pay rise. I'll be on 4000 a month starting next week. What? 4000 a month? That's fine, though. I can tell how happy you are with your new girlfriend. What does she make? 1500 a month? I'm pleased for you. I hope you both live happily ever after. No way am I buying this crap. You're just trying to make me feel bad about divorcing you. I bet you pulled that number out of your ass. There's no way a broke loser who barely makes minimum wage is suddenly going to land a new job with quadruple the salary. The world just doesn't work like that. All those extra shifts I put in these last two and a half years finally paid off. It was never my intention, but I'm paying off your debts. I accidentally became an expert at literally every job there is to do at this company. My efforts were noticed, and well, here we are. My new position includes tons of extra benefits. Plus, I get to go away on business at least once every month. All travel and accommodation covered on company dime, of course. It just so happens I experienced a meeting of fate on my first trip last week. A meeting of fate? I had the opportunity to meet one of the top executives at our biggest client company while away on business in New York. I was initially only supposed to be there to observe and get to, get to grits with the whole process. But there were a bunch of problems due to incompetence on the part of our representative. I had no choice but to step in. The executive I mentioned was apparently so impressed by my performance that he put in a word with our CEO and headhunted me. You can stop fantasizing now. This is ridiculous. As if a top exec at a major company would pay any attention to someone like you. I don't care whether you believe me, but it's a fact that my salary and quality of life are both about to skyrocket. I'm leaving my company and starting my job with a new one in New York in March. 
New York? Yep. The HQ is in a little place called Wall Street. You might have heard of it. Oh yeah, I forgot. You always dream about living in New York, right? What a shame. It wouldn't make any sense for you to come with me since we're getting a divorce and all. Nuh-uh. I ain't jealous, not one bit. What difference does it make to me whether an old hag like you goes to New York? Your good years as a woman are behind you. You're only as useful as corporate livestock now. New York isn't only for young people, you know. I can still sample its fruits, even at the ripe old age of 38. Not that it has anything to do with you. Enjoy life with your new prepubescent girlfriend in the middle of nowhere. Do not make fun of me, hag. Hag? You're hilarious. You have this weird habit of totally forgetting how old you are when you insult me for my age. You're free to talk crap all you like, but be careful that boomerang doesn't swing right back around and hit you in the face, Grandpa. You think some broke loser with gray hairs in his beard who works a low-income job, whose only talent is getting into debt, would choose his words a little more carefully. You shut your goddamn mouth! Aw, what's wrong, sweetie? Don't you have a proper comeback? Your impotent anger only betrays your lack of vocabulary. I'm ashamed I even devoted myself to such a pea-brain moron. Why didn't you tell me you got a new job? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because you demanded a divorce before I got the chance to tell you? Wait, that's what you wanted to talk to me about? Bingo! That was close. Talk about dodging a bullet. Phew! Can you imagine if I didn't let you go first? Terrifying. Who knows what might have happened if I told you about the mammoth pay rise I was set to get. You might have changed your mind on the divorce and never told me about the affair. I might have ended up taking you to New York with me. Can you imagine if all those poor folks living up there had to tolerate your vile presence in their lovely city? You did tell me to throw away any unwanted crap before I left. It's time for you to go in the trash where you belong. Ah, you bitch! Idiot. You made fun of me for being a moron all this time. But it looks like you were the real moron all along. Wait a sec! You would have never gotten headhunted by the Wall Street bigwig if not for my debt! I deserve a cut of your salary! Wow, just when I think you reach peak moron. Do you seriously think you're getting a cent of my money? By the way, I already had my belongings sent off with the delivery company. So feel free to invite your child bride over any time. Wait, Kara, please. Surely you still have feelings for me. Would you mind not saying things that make me want to vomit when I don't have a bucket ready? You literally could not be more wrong. I, I bet you're just mad with me because I che cheated on you. Feelings of the kind we had for each other don't just disappear overnight. Listen, babe, here's what I'm willing to do. How about I break things off with my girlfriend and we just forget about the whole divorce thing? I'm done with you. So actually, I think you two should stay together. In fact, I think you should get married. Let's face it, she must be a piece of trash if she's a type of girl to bed a married man. Which makes you and her a match made in heaven. She might be rotten to the core, but at least she's young. That's all that matters in a woman, right babe? Have a nice life. <coughs> Darren married his lover as soon as our divorce went through. I was astonished to find out that within a year of moving in together, they were in over $50,000 of debt and had mean-looking guys in leather jackets showing up on their doorstep every day. This time, he's set to lose everything because there's no one around to bail him out. Naturally, my ex-husband sent a desperate SOS my way, and any guesses what it said? Yep, money please. Obviously, I did what any reasonable person would do in my position and blocked him immediately. I'm guessing she was unable to cope with the stress of being trapped in debt hell with a man with just a few brain cells as herself. Because Darren's new wife pulled a vanishing act in the middle of the night, and he never heard from her again. I know Darren can be hard to be with, but imagine ditching him in the middle of the night. Looks like my hunch was right. What an unwholesome individual. As for me, I feel like a different person after starting my new life in New York. I went on a diet, started doing my makeup differently, got a new haircut, and bought a whole new wardrobe. Being mature doesn't mean you can't enjoy life. There are tons of beautiful women approaching 40. Among them are girls with great fashion senses, girls who dedicate themselves to their jobs, and girls who enjoy romance to the max. Me? I'm greedy, so I want to be the kind of girl who does all three. <laughs> my life begins now. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.